This example comes from a series that Mark Stefani has transcribed from Kenny Burrell's solos. This is a typical lick that Kenny Burrell would play over a C7, and it could also work over a C minor 7 chord. Now the interesting thing about this lick is the repetition, but also the rhythmic structure. It's based around a three note motif. Even though you're playing swing eights, or if you're in a straight eighth feel, straight sixteenths or straight eights. I also demonstrated over the one, the four, and the five chords in a 12 bar jazz blues. That's one of the beautiful things about great licks like this, is you can get a lot of mileage out of them by the repetition. Technically, it's very easy to play. It's coming right out of the eighth position, C minor pentatonic scale, we all know and love. The move is a legato slide from the G flat, or if you prefer to call it F sharp, up to the G with your index finger, then the B flat. So it's flat five, five, flat seven. And you just got to get that swing feel. One, da 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 da. Then the last time you close it by going five, flat seven, one, G, B flat, C. When you view this lick, it's on one string. So I would suggest you memorize all the areas where this would occur. Know your instrument. And your locator is that F sharp note. So you can come down an octave, come down another octave. The fingering is never going to change, no matter what string you go to. Now you could also play it without the legato slide. Use three fingers, your first, second, and fourth fingers. You could pick every note. That would be like tonguing every note on a horn. You can slur them. A lot of different ways you could play them. You could even do octaves. Jump around, do whatever you want, but mix it up different ways. Now that's viewing it all on one string. But another very typical place that this lick is played is on adjacent strings. Let's look at it in sixth position. You're playing the G flat and the G on the second string, but then you move that B flat from the eleventh fret of the second string over to the sixth fret of the first string. You can do the same thing on the second and third strings. It's going to change because there's only a major third interval between those. But move that in all your octave positions. Everywhere. For a backing track, we're using the tune entitled Unit 24 from your Jam Box series. Here I'm going to twist and turn it, and we'll have some fun with this lick. Thank you. 